We are focused on fitness this Friday in your local 10 HealthCast. Chrissy Krueger's in the newsroom with some helpful tips on how to maximize your workout. Yeah, well, with summer now here, people are hitting the gym to get that beach body looking its very best. And while exercising is crucial to maintaining a healthy lifestyle, you have to make sure not to really overdo it. Why? Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy right here. He's a Texas teenager. His name is Jared Schamberger, and he says the soreness in his arms after a workout just would not go away. So he told his mom, who did a little internet searching. It was super duper sore. Everything hurt. It hurt to the touch. It was swollen. The farthest I could move to here and that... I was like, this is not right. And the mama bear and me kind of took over, and I called the pediatrician and said, I really think my son has rhabdo. And she was right, that mama bear was. Jared spent five days in the hospital after being diagnosed with rhabdomyelosis, which actually causes a breakdown in your muscle tissue. It is caused by a number of things, including overexerting yourself during a workout. I've actually known people who've had this. Experts urge people to be aware of the symptoms. Muscle pain, weakness, severe swelling after intense exercise, all could mean you've got to go to the doctor. Also in today's health cast, move over hot yoga. We're now turning down the temperature. Cold workouts practiced in studios, chilled down as low as 45 degrees, are really catching on. It's called, you'll love this, burn. When you exercise in the cold, you actually burn more calories and more fat because your body is trying to heat itself up to combat the cold. Also, the rate of perceived exertion, so how hard exercise feels, is actually lower in a colder environment than it is in a hotter environment. Experts say, of course, there are some dangers to working out in an environment that's too cold. In fact, if you aren't adequately stretched out, you could be at a higher risk for having an injury. In the newsroom with your health cast, time to go exercise. I'm Christy Krueger. I like that cold workout. I'm all about that. Ooh, yeah, thank good. you, Christy. Yes. Okay. I like the... Uh the uh, thermostat way down. No, you know what? I, I think I would, I would, I would counteract it because I'd want to bundle up. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. If you guys want to live a healthier lifestyle, check out the local Ten Health and Lifestyle Expo. Get underway this weekend. We'll be at the Westford Westfield Broward Mall. And you can get some helpful hints, and you can talk to Christy because she's got some helpful hints always. <laughs> come out and meet us this Saturday from noon to two thirty. Come out and see Samantha Bryant, Ian Margle, Christy. Todd Tongan, Nicole Perez, and Will Manso will be there. You can also meet Madeline Wright, Roy Ramos. I'm going to be there too, as well as Luke Doris, Terrell Fournay, and Clay Ferrero. Then from 2.30 to 5, you can meet Laren Livingston, Janice Fernandez, Eric Yatzi, JC Birch, Jeff Weinsier, and Leanne Morihong. Also at that time, meet Nikki Mohan. I'll be there too. Lori Jennings, Betty Davis, and Brian Norcross. Come out and say hello.